All right, guys, so I am now five days out from the race coming up here on Saturday, the half marathon. Um, just want to say thank you guys for the support along the journey. Thank you for supporting my sponsor, Barbell Apparel. Check them out. I'll put the link in the description. They've been nothing but good to me. But as far as this video, so I just want to talk about a few things. So on any goal, on any journey, you're going to look back and say, holy cow, I've come a long ways. And often during the journey, you're going to look at things and think, you know, maybe it doesn't seem like things are going great or maybe it seems like your progress is slow. But then at the end of it, you're going to look back and say, wow, I've come a heck of a long ways. And I think it's like that a lot with lifting. When you look back and you remember the days of maybe when you were deadlifting 315 pounds or 405 pounds or somewhere in that range. And now you're at a 500 pound deadlift or a 600 pound deadlift. And you're like, wow. I can't believe I used to only be able to deadlift 400 pounds and now I'm deadlifting six. And we just look back and we don't realize how much progress we're making along the way by just being consistent and disciplined. And that is what it's felt like for me looking back at the previous 37 weeks. To look back and think, starting out in February, being 240 pounds, running a mile on the treadmill at 13 and a half minutes, to now running 10 miles at, 700, at 737 pace. Um, so my final big run was Friday and I'll get into it here but I did 10 miles at 737 pace which puts me right on track for the goal of the 140 half marathon and it's just wild to think it's it's like almost surreal to think about all the hard days all the all the days where I didn't want to get out and do it and now here we are and it's just it's like that with any goal you guys can relate to that I'm sure in whatever you're striving to do and I'm kind of at an interesting place in life where I'm not necessarily I'm not making the most money I've ever made. I'm not the strongest I've ever been, but I'm almost have this inner peace in a sense where life itself feels more balanced as far as I have a stronger relationship with God. I have uh, a better relationship with my family, with my wife. Um, my parents moved here back in May. I just saw my sister for the first time in a year and a half because um, she's visiting from Colorado. My, my lifts are going fairly well. I'm really happy with my physique. It's probably the happiest I've been with my physique in a decade. Um, happy with where my lifts are at. Like I said, I'm very happy with my running progress. So it's it's, and and I'm able to pay my bills. You know, I'm not killing it, but I'm able to pay my bills. And I'm actually working with less guys overall. I'm working with a lot less guys than I've worked with in the past, because I don't. I want to find that balance, that work life balance, where I can enjoy life. You know, make a living and still you know have time to do to do my my goals and focus on those and i think that's one of the things that as you get older you kind of dial in more and more 32 years old now and that's maybe something that wasn't necessarily there when i was in my 20s um you're just at a different phase and i feel really good about things i've been thinking about the next goals coming up like we obviously i've got the big horn 100 mile run in june which was the ultimate goal and is what this is really all about. This is just training for that. That's what this half marathon is and everything else along with the running. Um, you know, I'd like to pull 700 pounds again at 200 pounds body weight. You know, we'll see. It's looking pretty good. I hit a 11 reps with 500 pounds on deadlift yesterday, which the goal was kind of, I was thinking 12 coming in and maybe I could have gotten 12, but I'm happy with 11. I think deadlift's blowing up. And it's just interesting to uh, to think. You got to think about, reflect on things from time to time. You got to get out of your phone, and I'm as guilty as anyone of being in my phone. And you got to get off the the social media, and get unplugged, and you got to think and reflect from time to time about your life, where you're going, what it means to you. You know, I I used to have dreams of being wealthy and such, and now that's not as much of a thing. I don't care about being wealthy per se. I care about the quality of life because you really do think about it and you're like, I'm not going to be able to take this, you know, if I was wealthy, I'm not going to be able to take that money with me. I'm not going to be able to take my possessions and such. But what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis is what's going to matter. And I'm trying to make the most out of life. So that perspective has really shifted. And that that's one of the things I, I really was speaking to me as far as what I wanted to talk about. So you guys may or may not relate to that depending on how old you are, but I guarantee at some point as you get older, you're going to feel it. Um, priorities change, things change. So find your passions, 
find your your and I wouldn't even say hobbies find your passions pursue those uh, take care of the people around you that's the biggest thing try to be there so I'm gonna get into the other parts here I'm gonna put put up some lifting footage as well over the course of this video but thank you guys for watching appreciate the support liking the video all that sort of stuff just gonna keep documenting this journey we're gonna keep knocking it out and I'm gonna keep tr trying to provide value for you guys thank you well guys this is the last long run before the half marathon next Saturday eight days out I'm in a nice heated car and I do not want to get out and do this it's uh, it's about 40 degrees and I know this is gonna be a really tough route today I was thinking originally that Wednesday would be the final test but this is gonna be the final test so I'm not I just knew mentally I had to come out and do this so I'm at the starting point of where the race is gonna be and this race is very hilly about 587 feet of elevation gain total and the first the most of that elevation gain is on the first half of it that first five miles so today I'm gonna to try to do the first five miles um, exactly as it will be on race day and then I'm going to turn around and come back so the course will keep going on but this two section it's too dangerous to run that section right now without it being like coned off and everything so I'm gonna do the hard part and I'm gonna try to do it at a 745 pace and then I'm just gonna take it easy on the back half but I'm nervous about it guys it's cold it's this is a tough stretch this is the part of the race that's gonna be difficult um, but if I want a negative split on race day, I gotta go a little easier on this part and then save some gas, gas in the tank for the back half. But I don't wanna do this. So I was just watching David Goggins videos where he's like talking about how he doesn't wanna do half the stuff that he has to do, but still he grinds. I'm like, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. So this is gonna suck, but I'm gonna do it. Last test, let's get it over with. I'll keep you posted, I'll be back. All right, guys, <clears throat> I'm back. 10 miles, done. Honestly, it went way better than I could have expected. I shouldn't say way better. It went about as well as I could have hoped for. Um, so this is the first, the first five miles I did were the exact course. And the first half of this half marathon coming up for next weekend is the tougher, hillier section. So... 6.6 .6 miles I knew I had to hit it I wanted to be around 51 minutes and I did 50 45 so it went even better than expected and I'm feeling a lot more confident about next weekend I'm feeling really good so I was feeling so good I was originally gonna take the second five miles second half pretty easy I was feeling good I was like let's crank this so I turned it up on the second half too. And my total pacing time, my average pace for the whole run was 737. Well, 737 is just under 140 half marathon. So feeling good. Didn't even have my uh, Saucony Endorphin Elites on. I just had my regular, my Saucony Endorphin Pro 2. So not even my racing shoes that are a little faster. Still crushed it. Not rested. Feeling pretty dang good. That was a huge confidence booster. That was what I needed. Everything this week has been nailed. Nailed the paces. Nailed everything. I'm ready. I'm feeling I'm feeling good that the the hay is in the barn. Like the work is done, guys. That was it. I mean I'm gonna have a couple little baby runs coming up, and then I got. I'm gonna go on a hike tomorrow, eight miles, um, two thousand feet of elevation gain in Frozen at State Park. But work's been put in. Thirty-seven weeks down, you know, eleven hundred and seventy-six miles in thirty-seven weeks. I'm ready to roll. I feel amazing. Very, very, very happy with how today went. You know, that's a run that. I didn't think I could do a month ago. I, I never would have thought I could do that. And that's a tough course right there. So I, I am feeling excited. 
hamstrings were getting a little tight, so I got to keep an eye on that. Might need to get some some salt tabs. Um, I did take a gel at like mile five and a half, but I need some a little more electrolytes because they were starting to tighten up. I don't want to cramp. It's the only thing that would blow this up. I feel like. But let's go get it.